Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can make a raw granola. So these recipes are slightly different from the majority out there. They're lower in fat, they're no nuts, and they include ingredients that will boost your health, that are more nutritious. This recipe is my staple, it's something that I make in bulk. I find it very tasty and very satisfying. I keep it on hand to use either as a snack or I'll sprinkle it on top of fruit dishes or smoothie bowls and you can also use it in cereal and oatmeal as well. I've then got a second recipe for you which is a chocolate granola recipe and this is really tasty Moorish kind of recipe. I made this much and I ate it all in a week. So I would recommend that this is made um, for special occasions or to share with family and friends. Here are the ingredients for the first recipe. So I've used flax seeds for omega-3. I've added pumpkin seeds to boost your zinc and apricots for added vitamin E. The base is mulberries. So with the mulberries and the seeds, that adds that you, even though it's low fat, you're still getting that crunchy texture to the recipe. I love mulberries, but I never bought them very often because they're just so expensive in local supermarkets. But I've recently been buying them online in bulk and they're just so much cheaper. So if you like mulberries as much as me, I would really recommend shopping online and trying to find a really good deal in your country. And if you do find a good deal, please link in the comment section below to share with others. The first thing you need to do for this recipe is grind up your flax seeds. So you do that first unless you've bought pre-ground seeds and then add the rest of the dry ingredients, so the pumpkin seeds and the mulberries and grind that up together. Then add the dates and the apricots and mix that all together as well. Make sure you pit your dates first and I usually use fresh dates just so it's easier, I don't need to soak them first. But if you do need to soak your dates, make sure you do that before you make the recipe. You can either blend on full power or you can pulse blend if you want a chunkier consistency. And this is how it turned out. As I said, I really like this recipe. It is something that I want to have on hand, something tasty that I can snack on and also add to different recipes. So here are the ingredients for the second recipe, the chocolate granola. And what I think that makes this recipe particularly Moorish for me is the combination of the oats, raw cacao and the date syrup. So to start this recipe, you do the same as the first. You bang them all in the food processor and blend them up. So the best thing to do is put the oats in first and then you can add the dates, apricots, raisins and the pumpkin seeds. Blend it all up, either at full power or pulse blending it. And then you can add the raw cacao and the date syrup and then blend it again. The date syrup is optional, you don't have to include it in the recipe, it works just fine without. So it's up to you, it depends whether you want it to be sweeter and stickier. And this is how it turned out. It's a great recipe, really tasty, perfect for special occasions and for sharing with friends and family. Please let me know if you try this recipe, either tag me on social media or leave me a comment below. And thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.